2022, estou aqui com Andrés Madeiro, que é CTO da Infinera. Não é a primeira vez da companhia no evento, a entrevista vai ser em inglês, ele vai contar um pouquinho sobre o que traz a companhia todo ano aqui para a Firtecom, um pouco dos lançamentos e também tem anúncios importantes. Andrés, thank you very much for the interview. So it's the eighth time the, the company is at oh, Futurecom. What, yeah, what brings you here? So happy. We're so happy to be back to make this, you know, in presence. We had two years where we couldn't do it because of the pandemic. But uh, uh, for us, uh, Futurecom is an amazing event. It's an event that we have, you know, the ability to be able to talk with our customers directly, show our latest technology. And this is definitely where you want to be. So welcome to Futurecom 2022. And what are you uh, showcasing at this trade show? So in Finera this year, one of the things that most of our customers are very interested in is on coherent technologies that go uh, uh, beyond the normal speeds that they see every year. So our coherent technology today uh, goes up the way to do 800 gigs per waves. And we're also showcasing a new technology, what we call XR Optics, which is going to completely revolutionize how point to multi-point connections are done in country. And there's a lot of traction of customers that we have here at the event that have come to the event and said, we really want to see what you guys are doing. So thanks for the space and giving us the space to be able to show this during future come. And I guess it's a very exciting moment as the data traffic is exploding around the world, right? Yes, I mean, uh, I think in every telecom event where we say that bandwidth is growing, it's a given, but, you know, especially right now in Latin America, there is a lot of traffic coming into the country. There's a lot of content still is being kept inside the countries. There's a lot of subsea cables being built, and we're so happy because this, this year we got to announce two new uh, customers joining, doing our subsea cables with the latest technology of Infinera. One of them is Angola Cables, and the other one is Algal Telcom. We, um, we are super happy to start working with them and having our latest technology in their submarine cables. And you said two clients, the other one, and those are launches made specifically on, uh, at Futurecom? Yes, well, we announced them in Futurecom. We always want to keep the best news at Futurecom, right? This is a, a very important event for us, and we wanted to make sure that uh, uh, we brought this news to, to the event. Yeah, yes. And what can you say about market perspectives looking forward, I don't know, maybe three to five years in terms of uh, marketing growing and products launches? Well, you know, so one of the interesting things about the Latin American market is that 5G has become a reality already, right? Especially here in Brazil has become a reality. So I think the bandwidth growth is not only about growing the bandwidth, but it has also become very important to have latency, uh, very uh, uh, ultra low date, late latency connections. So that has changed the way that service operators around Latin America has been re-architecting their networks towards new technologies. So this is a very important uh, step in Latin America. You know, we are in a process of transformation, and I think it has already started this year. But I think 2023, 24, 25 will be years of expansion. And here is Infinera to help all of our customers go through it. And what kind of innovations can we expect? So the, be the next big thing is going to come from Infinera always, right? But yeah, yes, we're one of the leading uh, uh, technology providers in the planet. Uh, we always bring in new technologies like 800 gig waves, and this is something that we have in our portfolio right now. So what we're going to start seeing is that that, uh, uh, that type of bandwidth is going to continue to grow, especially here in Brazil, where you see a lot of data center traffic coming in. So one of the things that we're going to be able to see next year is you're going to start seeing the first customer deploying 800 gig channels in, in their network as part of the services. And 400 gigabit Ethernet taking a lot of the metro portion of the network so is going to start evolving into that as well. So a lot of new technologies to support the upcoming data traffic demand. Yes, a lot of, a lot of new technologies. A lot of new technologies. Thank you very much for this interview. Thank you very much and thanks for the opportunity and for all of the audience. Firtecom 2022, fique por dentro de todas as novidades da feira na nossa plataforma digital.